Tonight we're learning more details about an ongoing investigation into a baby dolphin that was held out of the water in Nassau County last month and died. We now have the necropsy report. News for Jack's reporter Khalil Maycock. He's joining us live. Khalil, you spoke with Marine as Marine Science Professor about this report. I did in that Jacksonville University professor says when he read that report, he wasn't surprised at all, but he did say what did surprise him was the findings of the content of the baby's dolphin's uh, stomach. He says he believes from that the dolphin might have been sick. In the section titled Significant Findings, it reads in part, Empty Stomachs, Bloody and Lung Worms. These findings from the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission are for this dead young dolphin you see here. FWC recently shared their report with News for Jax. Last month, we told you people involved in the investigation believe the dead dolphin found in Nassau County is the same one seen here and this photo with the guise of the faces we've blurred. The FWC report does say the cause of death for the dolphin is undetermined. There really were no surprises in the report. That was the response of Jacksonville University professor Dr. Quentin White after he read over the FWC's report. He said reading about the fluid inside of the young dolphin's body wasn't odd. Neither was seeing that it had worms. But what he did say could give an indication about the health of the dolphin before it died was what was found in the stomach, which was empty. The animal had not been feeding. And so sometimes if an animal is killed by blunt trauma or some other, you know, hit by a boat or something like that, and you do a necropsy, you're going to find things in the stomach because they've been eating and active. Um, when it gets sick, it's just like you and I, they don't want to eat. And so they don't, there's nothing in their stomach. It's unclear if the dolphin was already dead in the photo. However, we had a UNF professor familiar with the case review the reports. She believes the dolphin died after the photo was taken. The person who was seen holding the dolphin did post on social media. It was an accident. But Dr. White says it's best in situations like this to never remove a dolphin from the water if it's dead or alive. And once again, according to this report, this is still an active investigation. Reporting live, Clil Maycock, Channel 4, The Local Station.